in the last video of this series, let's quickly go back to how to do the fabric part. The remote I will hide and then the base I will show. I will actually uh, do, 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 hide this one and hide this one for the moment and go to wireframe. Also here, I will go to the 3D viewport and wireframe. Shift S cursor to select it. I can go to a top view, Shift A, make a plane. This plane is really big. Uh, why don't we see the plane uh, here? I did not have the collection selected, shift A and plane, there it is. And then edit mode, tab S and scale it down till it is nearly as white. Let's turn on the manipulation, bring this to there. A, A, select these two, bring this over A, bring everything up. Here, go to your side view. I pressed one. Because I'm wireframe mode, I can easily via B and draw a selection over all the points. And I will bring this one somewhat to there. A, A, select this. And now I press B, do an extrusion till there. E extrude, E extrude, E extrude, E. So I'm trying to trace kind of like the inside AA. Select this, bring this down. Very good. Press the period on the numpad or again, frame selected. No. Z and shade it. And you see, I retraced the surface flow of that interior area. Very good. These two edges here I will bring to there. Then I will select these two, press E and X. Just extend them a little bit. Okay. Step two shrink wrap, uh, not shrink wrap. We go to modifier, solidify, and say, 0.2 millimeters, please even and high quality and to the outside. So I drag this value. Okay, now this looks pretty boxy and terrible. So we add a subdivision surface modifier, maybe two. Let's take a look how this works. This is maybe too, too thin. So maybe three, uh, sorry, 0.3 millimeters. Oh, this is better. Okay. I would like to get closer to these edges. So control R, one mouse wheel, left click, right click. And then I scale these to the side. Now this is better already. Edit mode, I can leave, select my original mesh, press H, take a look, not too bad. Go to your side view and then in wireframe mode, AA, maybe drag this one a little bit. So the whole thing look a little bit stiffer. Very good, not too bad. So you see, we get very nice round edges. In object mode, we can also now say shade. Go to view, okay, very nice. Press N, scale is all set to zero. In case you do not see in object mode, the scale to zero. Object, apply and scale, very good. Now we want to give this a material. Uh, let's go to material and yeah, is it this one? Fabric. And mm, I don't see anything, what's going on? Well, we didn't UV unwrap the stuff yet. So in edit mode, 
with A, select everything, U, and unwrap. There we are. Okay. So we see it. The scale is a little bit off. So do we have to go, yeah, this way. This is also a little bit bonkers. It's lower, maybe 0.2. Yeah, OK. So if we want to have sharper edges on the sides, two things we can do, maybe 0.5 millimeters, so it's not so thin. OK, there, that actually did a lot to it. And in edit mode, if we now press AA to deselect everything, hold the Alt key, click on this edge, hold the Alt key and Shift, click on this edge. So we can scale them even further apart. Then we are sharpening actually this edge a little bit more. Yeah. And you see this actually gave us a really nice quick way how to create an organic shape. Uh, to do this a uh, little bit more artistic, we could control R, add another point there, press enter or right click, AA, select this, drag it down. So we can make this non-uniform, uh, make it more organic. And the textures then flow with it. Maybe increase this a little bit. Point one. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Much better than the original, originally created object in uh, in fusion so let's call this one tag new tag old we don't want to see the rest we want to see and also show up during rendering go to the camera see this looks much better now go maybe to a final render oh maybe two little bit too strong or maybe I have to put this indeed up Oops. Uh, incorrect material wah, wah. 0.5 uh, point 0.3 maybe the scaling is too big too I don't know this feels better and we can play with the values here how we want to set this up. This is too reflective. Yeah. This feels better. Okay, so this is um, kind of like the initial step. There are still some issues. You can see that the fabric doesn't necessarily flow correctly from one side over to there. Um, this is, um, that's something I don't want to show you right now. We will do something like this at a later point. But essentially what this means is our original mesh is just flat. Then we create this shell. The shell we have to bake via this apply button. So it's actually um, a, f a real three-dimensional object. And then I slice it open like a piece of fabric uh, in UV texture one more time. I don't want to do this right now. Let's keep this uh, approachable for beginners uh, and keep it at this level where we are. Because that tag is pretty small, so we might not even see that issue, to be honest. OK, perfect. Job done.